Well, this is the morning time, and this is how much hay that was thrown out of the box. That's amazing. So that means the cleanup is going to be so easy. There's going to be no clogging or anything. Let's see how the the boys did. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so you see here, it is only the droppings, which the cleanup will be so, so much easier. So by having these boxes saves you the hay, for one thing, but also the cleanup is minimal. Hey, yo. Hi. Okay, so let's get started. So what I do is I fill up this. Hello. This way I'm not spraying the rabbit. There's no um, plants of little water getting to them. And I got this pail at the dollar store, so. And here is, huh? Yeah, okay, I'm recording. Just wanna make a double check. Watch it all go down. So that is really quite easy. I don't recommend using the spray because it doesn't seem to work as good. You need a nice enough pressure, but if you use the hose for the pressure, you're gonna get a splash back on the rabbit. I think this is quite easy anyways. So find what works for you and watch how it goes down. It goes down here and then back down. Okay. Now if there's any that is stuck, I'll show you what I do. All right, so I bought this at the dollar store and I wash it every time I'm done with it with vinegar, okay? So before you go into the bottom of the tray to clean it, you would look for any poop that is onto the cage. And you just go along and you wipe it off, okay? So that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna do the bottom one, one too before I do the top. So you see here, we have some. So I'm just gonna go and knock them down got some in his cage so make sure it's nice and clean I'm gonna go over to Bugs. Bugs has been spraying on the walls so I take a little spray um, a little spray thing and I clean that too so I'm just going to remove before I touch the bottom of the cage because I don't want to add bacteria any bacteria. There we go. So that's clean. So once I have that all clean, so I know my cages are cleaned, I can just simply stick this in and I'm just wiping where the pee is settled and build like a build up onto the galvanized steel. So I'm just doing that. And if there's any areas that were stuck, I just simply push them down. Okay, and again, I wash this little mop thing after every time I use it, which is vinegar and water. Okay, now I could have pushed this down with water, but I got to carry the water out. So if your system goes directly outside, <laughs> use as much as water as you want, but I've got to carry this outside, so... There we go. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave that hang on the side. Okay. And I'm going to pour one more water to finish off the wash. There we go. And it's going to go down here. Okay, so I still have some in here. Which this is from the dollar store broom. And I just scoop it down. All right, so we do have a little bit of hay, but that is nothing compared to what was happening before. And when I'm doing the very end, what I'll do is I'll wash this one, and I wash this one, and that is it, okay? So now I'm gonna move down to the bottom cage, and I'm gonna do one pail of water, and just see what flows and what doesn't flow. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my little pail, 
a little hose and fill it up. This way it always smells nice and clean. And let's see how it's going down. Now it's getting stuck there. I'm going to do one more water before I even try cleaning it up with my little mop. If the angle was more, I, this was the minimum angles we can do. Now this one is four inches. Of course, if you could do like a six inch, that would be amazing. The pressure of the water would flow even more. There we go. See how, so I see a little clump up there. I'm just gonna take my broom and move it down. Again, I gotta carry this water out. So that's why I'm not using full force water. Okay, so let's just move it down. And I'm going to scrub this because I want the galvanized steel to last as long as possible. And the urine from a rabbit is quite strong, so. There we go. Hey bugs, you're not happy I'm underneath you? There we go. Now like this was like 250 for this little mop and it's, <laughs> it's a lifesaver. There we go, so I'm just, I'm gonna help it go through. I don't want to carry two pails of the water. Um, when I had not these boxes, okay, not these hay boxes, I had to carry out two or three of these because it was the cleanup was harder for me because it was so full of hay. So. All right, let's give it one more shot of water. Now, if I can only do one of these pails to bring out and carry out, that would be a lot better. I'm only filling up little pails because I want to be able to control how much water flow is going in. Okay, so there we go. That's a nice good rinse. I think I'm pretty well plugged up at the end here. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm not even showing what I'm doing. Okay. Depends on how perfect you want to get your cage. And you could do this. I just hit my hand on the cage. There we go. Depending on how much you want to do the cages, you can do this morning and night. I do it sometimes. And it's amazing. There's no smell. And I got two males in here, so that's pretty good. All right, so you see, I do have some um, hay. And I use, it's, it's difficult to do things with my hair. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to get rid of the hay. Now before it was so plugged up that I was having to scoop the hay out. Now I will get a better return on just the poop. Again, I'm farming, so I need the um, rabbit droppings. For this, I'm just going to kind of fill the water. going to use half for the top to clean up the top. There we go. Let me switch hands. And I'm going to do the bottom here. Okay. There seems to be a little bit of the hay. See, once the hay is gone, it just all goes. 
Now, again, if you're able to have this higher up, I would put a little bit more of an angle on this, okay? So there we go. Nice and clean, and it just took a few minutes. I mean, then I simply go out when I wash my floors, and I wash my mop, I wash everything that I just used, and everything stays clean. Hey, Bugs. Hi, baby boy. Hi. How are you? Hey, Lolita. Meet Lolita. She's such a pretty girl. Rosie. Oh, Rosie is so pretty. And Max. Hey, Max. Hmm? Are you eating some hay? Shows. I hope this was helpful and uh, gets you to understand the system a little bit better, but definitely get these boxes. And if you can, make them yourself fine. If you can't, um, I'm making some, so definitely uh, contact me or I'll leave a link and you can get these. I mean, these are worth it. It's gonna save you money and it's easy up on cleanup too if you have this kind of system. If not, and uh, you have what works for you, that's fine but I've tried all the hay, um, hay things and nothing was working. It was just making a huge mess. So these little guys <laughs> will definitely save you money. So if you need one, just let me know.